Without further ado, Mr. John Dinsmore. The first album, simply called The Doors, had just been released. An existential album, the late, great Ray Manzarek said, by four incredibly hungry young men striving and dying to make it, desperately wanting to get a record, a good record out to the American public and wanting the public to like it. When the album was released, each of the band members got 10 copies. I held off for a few days um, and then finally played the record for my parents. <laughs> I was uh, proud of it, but I was nervous about their reaction to a particular song called the end. Uh, this first cut is called Break On Through. It's fast and loud. This next one is Soul Kitchen. Has a nice groove. Um, I like the rhythm. Nice feeling. Check out the lyrics. The cars crawl past, all stuffed with eyes. The street lights shed their hollow glow. Your brain seems bruised with numb surprise. Still one place to go. Oh, man, Jim's lyrics are incredible. Uh, Crystal Ship's a beautiful ballad. This next one, Alabama song, it's different, kind of European. We didn't write this. It was written by Bertolt Brecht and uh, Kurt Weill from a German opera. Uh, the last cut on uh, side one, da -da 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 -da. it's called Light My Fire. I think it could be a hit. <laughs> Sounds very nice, my dad said as I turned the record over. <sighs> Wait to hear the end. And we'll see if you still think it's nice. I could play it real soft or just skip it. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. This is an old blues, Backdoor Man. We didn't write this either. Willie Dixon. Yeah. I'd like to use another cutie. End of the night's kind of eerie. It's fun to create a mood around Jim's lyrics. Well, here it goes. This is called The End. Um, it's kind of weird. It's long, about 10 minutes. Uh, Jim wrote some stuff about Greek tragedy, um, Oedipus or something. Do you know the story? I didn't either. Well, um, it's about a son killing his father and then uh, messing with his mother. It, it's all very symbolic. I mean, Jim didn't mean it literally. I quickly put the needle on the record to dispel the awkwardness. I listened with them, reliving every drum beat. When the listening party was over at my parents, we sat silently, <laughs> drained. My mom looked teary, my dad stoic. They complimented me cordially and I left. Whew, that was over. <laughs> 